My name is Maddie B. I am your host here with Lucas and Landon. First, you can both say your grade, department, and years on the team. My name is Lucas. Uh, I am a senior in high school. I am the lead of the CAD and scouting department, and this is my fourth year on the team. Three years of RC and one year of FTC. I'm Landon, and uh, I'm in ninth grade, and uh, I'm a part of the media and marketing department. I'm Matthew Balfi. I've been on the team for seven years. I am a senior. Uh, I'm the electrical lead. Starting questions. Question size talking point. How is off-season training going? Uh, off-season training is going pretty well for CAD and design. We have got uh, videos from the summer. We were doing uh, training for SolidWorks. So a handful of us have training in SolidWorks, but the masses will be trained starting after... Uh, after today, which is registration, and uh, we have the videos and we have a couple projects that we must start on. Uh, we're going to be short on time because we have Thanksgiving and uh, St. Cloud State uh, Jumpstart that are cutting into our CAD time, but hopefully we'll be able to get the basics mm, done with the soldiers. Cutting into our CAD time. What? Cutting into our CAD lesson What's time. our CAD lesson time? We got plenty of time. Come on. There's four hours of footage. And that's Okay. That's like one day. Okay, how did MRI go? Wait, are you gonna ask him? Wait, how did MRI? Wait, no, he's not really there. How long are you trained? How's your electrical department? Going? Okay, so um, I haven't found anyone to train yet. <laughs> uh, Trenton said he joined, but I haven't seen him yet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now we'll move on to the next. One. Okay, how did MRI go? Uh, MRI. We broke some things. Yeah. Uh, we came in with a working robot. Uh, we hadn't seen it in a while because that was our first off-season event of... I think that was the second or one. Or second after... No, that movie. was the first one. No, that's the first one. Okay. So, No, yeah. that was the second one. These are out of order. It's the first one? No, okay, they are in order. One. It's the first one. Idiot. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, our drive shaft broke. It wasn't our... Did our gear break, too? The gear broke. That's the what gear happened. Yeah, the oh, gear was, broke. did the yeah. shaft not break? The shaft. That's, okay. how, that's how so we... Yeah. Our gear snapped. We were having... We were also having some limelight issues, right? Yep. Yeah, because that was just stadium stuff. Uh, the place that we were in, the gym that we were in, had a light in the top that messed with all the green lights so, or limelight. So that was kind of our problems with MRI. Otherwise, we got second place. Uh, I, I consider it went pretty well. We got the experience that we needed. Uh, that's what we're lacking this year. But uh, any other input on MRI? Yeah. Went pretty smooth except the finals match. Yep. Uh, it was a wake up call for a lot of uh, for the couple kids on Bill team that we have right now before registration. Uh, York did some yelling. Uh, we had some rough times, but I think it went pretty well for experience. Besides that, yeah. Okay. Well, how did trunk or treat go then? Okay, so trunk or treat, <laughs> trunk or treat went. Uh, uh, I think pretty well. I don't. But think. Other people would say otherwise. <laughs> that, uh, we did get out and were able to talk to the community. I made some mistakes, but that's kind of the point of our uh, coordinating positions for these kind of events. Uh, we allow ourselves to make mistakes. Uh, my mistakes there were may have got the day wrong. Uh, <laughs> so we didn't know until like a day beforehand that it was not on the Saturday. It was on the Sunday of Halloween. Uh, we had to take a couple trips. Me and Matt did a little bit of running. Yeah, uh, a, little bit tracking, running, but a little bit of driving. <laughs> a little bit of driving. Robot did not end up working, unfortunately. But the kids still got to see it. So, uh, And I don't think we ever got at... It wasn't think, even our main robot. It wasn't even our main robot. <laughs> no, because we thought it was on the same day as, a, as MRI was, but it was a different but one. Th that was with the scheduling issues. So uh, I'm not even going to count that. <laughs> I would. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Anything else go wrong? I think that was it. Uh, oh, yeah, we're just going to stick it there. <laughs> stick it there? Okay. Yeah. Well, then how did NMRC go? NMRC? Uh, we had another limelight if issue, but there was yeah. no mechanical things that broke that day, correct? Nope. Uh, it was just the climber. The climber? Did the climber snap? Yeah, climber. No, we had a climber jam. That was oh, different. Okay. Yep. Yeah, climber jammed, not snapped. Uh, but that was just like, a, you can fix it right after you get out. You just got to wind it correctly. Uh, the limelight, it was another issue where, uh, we did learn a lesson. We didn't have all the tools we needed to take our photos before the, um, training event, but, uh. I'd say that we most definitely did. It was the field that had a different lighting. 
They're no, the wrong one. But it would have been it would have been way easier for us. So the way we had to carry our robot out with the limelight on the shooter. But uh, an easier thing would have been having a tripod at the same height, and we could bring it around and take all our snapshots, and that would take maybe like 10% of the time. We could just go out, boom, 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 and it would have gone perfectly. And we have one. We just lost it. Uh, so that's the lesson for next time if we use limelight again. Yeah. Any other input on uh, We got second place again. Yeah. Which that's a got... common theme with our <laughs> off-season no, events this year. We're with that with the third one. You're spoiling it. You're the one that just spoiled it by spoiling No, well, you're the one that spoiled it first. Okay, well then tell me, how did MMR go? We got second place. <laughs> yeah, we did. Uh, so that we actually had, all right, we had our climber snap, but no limelight issues that I'm aware of. I did, we did more heavy, or I did more heavy intensity scouting. The first two regional, or what are they called, off-season events, uh, the scouting was just me, and it was uh, notes on my phone of just... I put, like, emojis next to how I felt about the other robots so I could tell the difference between different robots. Uh, <laughs> very unprofessional of our host here. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, it was just notes app, and I just put my own little emojis. But... <laughs> Okay, <laughs> we were also having some trouble with the batteries routing out, and so I learned the lesson that we uh we haven't really checked our batteries in two years because of COVID, so they they might be kind of bad. Okay, uh, so that that was at MMR. The batteries was that the batteries being bad or was that because of our... they were browning out? I don't know. I think they might have been just faking. I think it was because of the leaks in pneumatics. The le yeah, because that we, was definitely the first we time. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I think it was the leaks of the pneumatics, but I'm not a build guy, so I shouldn't even put my input there. Well, it wasn't build scouting. Guy, Aren't on you the other hand, guy, baby? we yeah. did. Oh, okay. We had, uh, for our scouting, we uh, had three people at a time with iPads uh, using a software made by the Nightingale Nightcrawl. Or was it? It's just the Nightcrawlers. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it worked really well. Like it was the. Uh, from what I'm hearing from our scouting mentor, it was the best, uh, even re like if you included regionals, it was the best scouting day we've ever had. Uh, be, no issues. Uh, we got the teams that we, we got the best picks that we could have, I believe, with the knowledge that we had. They ended up breaking in the game. That was nothing we could have guessed. One got bumped really hard, and I don't know what happened to the other one. Uh, but yeah, well, they didn't break down the rest of the game, so I think we got the best picks out of our uh, third and fourth pick. So those are usually the tougher picks, though, once you get into the bottom of the ladder. Yeah. Uh, how do your guys' build? So we already talked about your guys' build department during the uh, MMR. Yeah. Uh, how did driving go? Um. So I wasn't. Well, I was part of drive team. You're an operator. Yeah. No. Right? no. Did you do any operating? No. No. It was all Neely. Yep. Okay. Way to hog it. <laughs> yeah, jeez. Come on. Jerk. I, I mean, uh, good person. So, it was pretty hard uh, human playing. The balls kept getting jammed in the... that. Um, what? Please explain. Elaborate. <laughs> that? <laughs> yeah, uh, what? Alright. <laughs> it's cracking under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, just, just go on. All right, <laughs> I don't want to. We're trying to get Lane to talk. <laughs> Come to on. Cannot form a Come on. Right okay, what are you looking forward to this for, to this season? Um, I uh, hope we go uh, come out swinging this season. <laughs> swinging? <laughs> yeah. What are we swinging? S swing like something. a baseball robot? Sure. Well, we're yeah, not we swinging have, with that. We're spring loaded. Yeah. God. Yeah? Yeah. My God. Yeah. Well, what are you looking forward to? I am looking forward to... Uh, Having an actual full functioning CAD team last year was kind of shaky. We only got a couple more, a couple members, and uh, we didn't perform as well as we would have liked. Uh, didn't get much documentation. I'd love to get back into FMEA too. Uh, I was I deal with, dealt with some of that last year, but uh, we kind of lost some of that knowledge. So we're hoping to get right back on it. 
Okay. Well, I'm looking forward to having a full season, right? Like, all of, none of us, except for maybe Lannon, he's allowed on the ninth grade team, but I'm not, right? Like, a couple of us actually have been on in ninth grade, but most of us haven't experienced, like, a full season, and so I'm kind of looking forward to that. Good answer, I'd, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right. All right. Well, uh, talk about this year's team goal, win a regional. Win a regional. Okay. So, uh, at first we had to, some people say get win worlds, which is kind of uh, extravagant for our the situation we're in uh, with the lack of, we have smart kids, but not experienced kids. So, win, uh, winning uh, worlds is a hope, but not a goal. Uh, you know, we want to win a regional. This is something we haven't done, we've only done once on this team, correct? 2013. 2013. Uh yeah, so it's, it hasn't happened in a long time, and uh, it's going to be a little tougher this year because they're only having one Worlds event, so they're not going to take as many. Uh, we're not planning on winning an award to get to Worlds. We're planning on winning a regional with our robot. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, and you have anything to elaborate on that goal? Uh, my goal for this season, well, for winning a regional, is produce more videos. Videos. How will that make us win? Chairman's video? Well, we said we're going to win a regional, not yeah. win. Yeah. But yeah. not by awards. We're talking about by robot. Matt, we're not supposed to put people down. No, that's what he. That's what I got on here for, <laughs> is by putting people down. So if you don't want me here, <laughs> then don't get me here, okay? Come on. <laughs> All right. What are your department's goals this season? Okay, I talked about that a little bit, but... Uh... Some more specific goals we have is to build the next CAD leader. Uh, we already got uh, some experienced kids from the 2020 season. Well, not experienced. Some intelligent kids from the 2020 season. Not experienced yet. Uh, the experience kind of shows if they can be a leader or not. So uh, we're hoping to kind of create some leaders this year in the CAD team. Uh, that's kind of my biggest goal is to create a good leader. Uh, as far as our robot design, so... Uh, what we plan on doing is a nice, simple robot that uh, performs the task with speed, hopefully, and it, it just uh, doesn't mess up. Another thing is uh, some of our optima optimization stuff, like um, getting the battery, or what's the word for that? Just getting the battery in a nice place, getting our electronics easily uh, so you can go and grab them. That was our big problem last year because oh, yes. our, our CAD design did not transfer to actual design the way we wanted and made the job for the build team way harder. Yeah, because it's really hard to get the battery in and out, and even just plugging it in and out is, like, really hard with how it's positioned. So, yeah, that, that would be the goal for the design. And um, So, I'm a part of the media marketing department, so our goals here are for... Uh, oh, shoot. Um, our goals for this year is to produce more videos, get more involved with the social media and uh yeah okay all right matt electrical right. you should have some big goals big goals yeah well i gotta i gotta you said to train a new lead i need someone to be <laughs> a lead i don't care yeah. who you need, you need i mean someone. registration is tonight so we'll probably figure it out i don't know um uh, yeah. it, I don't know if you've said it yet, but you are the only person on electrical as of right <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah, Trenton's probably coming, but he's also a senior, so he can't. He doesn't yeah, count. Yeah, he, he doesn't count. So doesn't we got to get some young kids interested in uh, the electrical department. You could probably talk on some behalf of the build department. What is the? I mean, you're in build, kind of. Yeah. So do you want to talk on some of their goals or? Okay. Uh, what are we doing? We're gonna build a robot. You know, that's gonna be an important thing. Uh, your battery's about to die on this computer, and I don't have these notes memorized. <laughs> so let me just like. Okay, there's only one note left. Okay, oh, never mind. Okay. okay. So yeah, uh, build. We're gonna be uh, building a robot. We're going to be. Uh... You want to talk about some of our, do you know our sub projects? Like... Oh yeah, we're gonna have a CNC. We just got it. We gotta train people in on that CNC because it's gonna be real cool. Uh. Like, real cool. And we also just got a laser for Eigen. It's not really us, but we kind of, we get it. We get it. Uh, <laughs> guess, yeah. So, yeah, we're going to use that thing. And then also, um, I, I think I'm the only person that's trained in on the mill as well and the lathe. So, 
We're gonna need to do that. Get some more people there. Do we even need that if we have a CNC? You don't. Yes. Wait. Yeah. Why? Uh, a lathe we definitely need. Why? Okay, what? Well, well a know. lathe is better. And three-dimensional parts, it's kind of hard on the CNC, maybe. Well, I guess so with I our know. experience with the CNC, it would be hard. So, mm -hmm. to sum up what he mumbled, uh, we want to get more experience on the CNC. Uh, we have... We have no documentation on the CNC and its processes, so we want to build that up on some instructional stuff. Uh, we have some sub projects like uh, baseball robot for the Twin Stadium. Uh, I think that's sometime in April, so we have time. I'd like to get it designed before uh, kickoff, but I don't know if that's going to happen because we have uh, some other plans with this season. We're putting that first, so if we get to it, we get to it. But. Uh, I think those are the big ones that were set yeah, up. That's another thing. Talking back a little bit to our goals, one of them is like finding old documentation because we have all kinds of new people this team and they all have like separate file folders in Google Drive for like every single department and even subsections it has a different file. And I don't know where to get them, who to ask to get them. Probably Yurik, but he doesn't know either. So I don't know who to ask to get them. All right, did you have any point with that, or you just want to... Uh, yeah, we need... Because we have a lot of stuff like FMEA. That's one of the big things that we're doing. Maybe make a presentation on it. I am. That's a thing that we're doing at SCSU. Uh, uh, is, and FMEA is a big thing because we can use what past years have learned, even though it's new people, as long as we have the documentation of it. Okay. So we need to get that. All right, do we have one more question? Yeah. Uh, what do you think the most challenging part of this season will be? Go. Uh, honestly, I don't think there won't be any challenges. Oh, no, I mean, that's the worst on. answer I've ever heard. Come on. What's your biggest weakness? Tell me right now. Um, per, um keep it on track for our <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fine. We'll finish this question and then we're going. Fine. Wait. No challenges. What do you think? Okay, I think our biggest challenge, I've already said it, our experience, uh, we're lacking it right now. We got, uh, I don't even know how many new kids came to this uh, MMR. I know one build guy, and then some of the new people got trained in the scouting, which is really good. Scouting isn't that complex, so I don't, at least for the, yeah, it's not complex. It's a really smooth system. Uh, so I'm glad we got some people trained on that, so we'll have some reliable people when we come to regionals that uh, know what they're doing uh, but besides that experience uh, that's a big part on that CAD team because experience teaches you what works and what doesn't work in a robot because that's hard to see on a CAD design on like a uh, on a screen it's hard to see uh, what works and I, that's kind of what happened last year I believe we had a lot of new kids on not last year two years ago when we were designing the uh, robot for infinite recharge uh, there was a lot of kids working on parts that didn't, uh, they knew what a CAD really good, but they didn't know, they didn't have the experience to know what worked. So that's kind of where the battery ended up going in with, where the, some of the electron, electronical parts. Was that the right? Electronic. <laughs> electronic. Electrical? Electrical. Thank you. Okay. Electrical parts. Uh, yeah. I think that, that'll be our struggles for the CAD team and the team is, in general is just for experience. Yeah. Now, Matt, you shoot. Okay, got so yeah, um, a lot of it's experience, but it's not just the students. We're getting a lot of new mentors, or we're mainly losing a lot of old mentors because they follow the kids. Kids are gone, mentors are gone. That's how that works. And yeah, yeah, yep. <laughs> you gonna elaborate on that, or you just gonna? <laughs> I just say did. It? Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, we've even seen this at some of our regionals uh, or out of our off-season events so far. We didn't have as many drivers which usually means not as many parents but we're early in the season before registration so hopefully we'll get some uh, parents that are interested at registration i know that's a big talking point is parent involvement at our registration so hopefully we can throw on some new people right. what are we, we talking we could talk about some funnier events at uh mmr so you keep saying MMR and MMRC. You guys have uh, many, many stuff. regional. Mini, if mini. you want to clarify, Minnesota Robotics Invitational, Northern Minnesota Robotics Conference. Competition he doubts us. Competition he doubts us. No, it's the conference, isn't it? It's conference. Or is that yeah, the Davis Conference? Yeah, get hacked. 
Yeah, this computer is dying. It told me low battery, and it thinks now is the time to update, too. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, some of the funnier events of uh, MMR. We, uh, I did end up throwing out some wrong numbers when I was out in front of the whole stadium uh, during scouting. That is not a problem with our scouting. That is a problem with my mind. Uh, I was using a crappy Android. No one likes Androids. Okay. Uh, no, okay. Literally no one. Okay, I don't even, you want to get into it. It was just a throwaway fine, phone. Fine. Tell us, how long yeah. did it take to find this dongle yeah. for this yeah. computer? Yeah. How long? How long? <laughs> how long? I don't support <laughs> Mac products. I support <laughs> Apple They're the same phone. thing, though. Apple They're phone. not the same. The Apple. They're both made by the Apple. <laughs> okay, so I went up there and I was using this crap, just horrible, horrible Android. I was on the phone and I couldn't hear anything I was even saying, like being said. So you could see me stutter right there. I've misspoke about 80 times, so you can see kind of what happened. Uh, I was on the phone trying to listen, and then the microphone eventually comes up to me. And me and my, it was just, I, we were the first pick, so we were in the first alliance. Uh, and the way it kind of works is the first one gets to pick their number two on their alliance, and then it goes down, then it comes back. So the last person gets to pick their first number three, comes back down. This isn't helping. We had to make two picks in a row. <laughs> then, so eventually we had to pick our number three. We had to pick our number three and four pick, and we had them worked out. I had number four. I struggled at remembering numbers, so I was just saying it in my mind. I already forgot it, but it was like 2264 or something like that. And... They come up with me the mic. I was trying to listen to the phone, so I didn't hear anything that was going on. And I go, 2264. <laughs> and then my uh, alliance member that's the uh, Fire Bears look at me and say, you're supposed to say your number. <laughs> so I, I, instead of saying 4607, said 2264, which a uh, tad bit embarrassing, but... Uh, Not only that, but that wasn't the team you guys picked there right then. <laughs> no, <laughs> no that, that, was, that, was my, that was the team I was going to pick, so that was our number four. So then he goes back, and it sounds like I said the wrong number. <laughs> so he says uh, whatever team he said, and then he goes back to me. I think he knows the other team. And then I said the 2264. So I got to work on that, you know. Uh, mainly, I think the one thing that would solve that is just going with an Apple phone. That would be my, oh, okay. my, oh, okay. my, my quick okay. solution with that. Okay, one question. How did we get the Gracious Professionalism Award? How that do you is, think that even happened? That was purely drive team. Uh, purely drive team. Yeah. And safety. And safety. and safety. Yep, they did a great job with that. Uh, we, in the stands, we never boo. We never we are disrespectful to other teams. We just don't always clap for the other team which is part of gracious professionals and maybe we'll work on that we'll see what our that's your goal what our standards are but you said it can be as long as i want we're not even using we're the computer winging. anymore wait the audio okay oh frick okay yeah so uh thank you for listening to frc 4607 cis podcast and thank you to our sponsors